in the times when we were sitting at home and looking at ideas what to do, some of us might come up looking at old pictures. You open an album, you're looking at one picture, and all the memories come back. And one piece of paper, one small picture, might bring a whole movie of ideas and memories and imprints. The Italian composer Mangani wrote a piece called Pagina d'Album, a page out of an album for clarinet and piano. Very much in the mode of a nostalgia. Now it is going to be performed by our sub-principal clarinet Angelos Angelides and Bianca Matei at the piano. As we have heard last time, and this time, the woodwinds, let's move over now to a brass instrument. It is the most famous one, the trumpet, of course. And for that, I'm going to yield to my wonderful colleague and principal trumpet, Gareth Griffiths. Good evening, dear friends. Uh, my name is Gareth Griffiths. I am principal trumpet of the Cypress Symphony Orchestra. It does feel very strange playing for you tonight uh, through the video camera and not seeing your smiling faces in the audience. But hopefully if we can bring a few of you a bit of uh, joy and happiness, 
from the musicians of the Cypress Symphony Orchestra. If we can make a few of you happy and smile, then we know we've done our job. It's a very uh, strange time for us, but we try and carry on making music as much as we can. Uh, the first piece I'm going to play for you this evening, some of you may have already noticed, this is not a trumpet. This is a cornet. Uh, this cornet, as you can see, is a little bit shorter, a little bit fatter than the trumpet. Uh, the tubing is more narrow, and if I was to try and play the cornet the same way as the trumpet, the sound would break down. The, the, it would not work and it would break up. You have to play with a little less air and a bit more intense breathing and that's how, how it works in theory. I hope it works this evening. Uh, the piece you're about to hear is a piece by the living composer Philip Spark. Uh, he wrote a piece for Kona called Song and Dance. I played this a long time ago when I was growing up in the Welsh brass bands especially the Tradiga band. I think it's one of the pieces I practiced when I was there. I didn't actually play the trumpet until I was 17 years old. Uh, I played the cornet from the age of 6 to 16 and did, went through the brass band system. When I got to 17, I switched to the trumpet and had a big shock. It's very different. Anyway, here is uh, Philip Spark song and dance. I hope you enjoy it.
The next piece you're going to hear is a piece famous only for trumpet players, not so famous for other musicians. It's a piece by the Russian composer Alexander Gerdiker, and as you can see, I'm back to familiar territory with the big B-flat trumpet. When the maestro asked us if we had anything ready to perform, I had a little think about it with my accompanist, and I decided we could try the, the Gerdiker. The Gerdiker is a very famous piece for trumpet players, not so famous for other musicians. It's quite technical, it's very demanding, especially for the pianist. The piece is very special to me because I played it 20 years ago for my audition for the Cypress Symphony Orchestra. I had a little look at it this week and I think I can remember it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Thank you very much. 